The Biden transition team is pushing back against President Trump's latest rhetoric about the election. This is the president-elect moves full steam ahead with another round of cabinet announcements expected next week. Nicole Killian is traveling with the president-elect in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning to you, Michelle, and President-elect Biden has spent the last couple of days here at his beach home with family. He has no public events today, but his team is dismissing the president's rejected lawsuit as desperate and embarrassingly meritless while also disputing the president's latest election fraud claims. A transition official tells CBS News, quote, President-elect Biden won 306 electoral votes. States continue to certify those results, and the the electors will, will not sue the elector the electors uh, will soon meet to ratify that outcome Joe Biden will be sworn in on January 20th 2021 and shortly thereafter he'll enter the White House as the duly elected president of the United States now over the Thanksgiving break the president elect and his wife Dr. Joe Biden spoke with frontline health care workers they also continue to urge Americans to do their part during the pandemic whether it's wearing masks social distancing or limiting family gatherings the president elect is also gearing up to nominate more people to serve in key posts within his administration. This week, he announced his national security team, and next week he will roll out his economic team, although the transition would not specify which positions Mr. Biden intends to fill. Now, the president-elect and vice president-elect will also get their first presidential daily brief on Monday after President Trump signed off on it earlier this week. Dana. All right, Nicole, we promise we will send Ed back to you soon. We won't keep him for too long. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Ed, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we'll eventually send you back because you're too valuable out there. I, everything that's gone on, not just in the election, but the lead up and everything. I know you've been asked about this a lot, but is there a way to sum up just what this has been like compared to other years? Oh, this is, you, you can't compare this year at all to years past uh, between what's going on right now and what went on just with the fact that they couldn't campaign in person most of the time right. across the country so you know this is this is going to be one that we set apart i think from most of the others and, and we'll see but you know it's it's fascinating to see this continue and it's telling that the judges continue to tell the trump team they have no merit uh in, in the claims that they've been making and there's no end in sight really i mean the question is what's going to happen with the inauguration and beyond with a new administration yeah well and, and the fact that the president said look you know once the electors vote in mid-december i'll probably, concede. probably we'll see we'll see about uh, going to the inauguration itself i think that's one thing people should prepare for that that is likely to be a very different looking event this year not just because the president may or may not show up but just by virtue of the fact that you don't want to be holding large super spreader right. events mm -hmm. well nothing bigger than an inauguration that could bring hundreds of thousands of people to washington so i suspect soon we're going to hear that they're announcing a more scaled back affair we keep saying 2020 but that continues into 2021 yeah, right. it does we have to continue to be safe